Hey everyone, welcome back to Making Magical Adventures. In today's video, we're here for the very first time at the Pixar Place Hotel. We're here on a staycation. We wanna check out everything that there is to see and do here. Meet Bing Bong, check out all the other hidden Easter eggs, try some yummy food, and just take an entire tour of the Pixar Place Hotel. So stay tuned. But before we get started guys with today's video, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you guys do enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. Let's get started. Okay, oh my gosh. Do you like it? This girl is in heaven. She's like, oh my gosh. Who is that? Who is it, Rilani? Bing bong! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Tall. A lot of cotton candy, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright, the first look at our room. Wow. I guess it would help with the lights on, yeah, but this looks incredible. Oh my gosh. Oh my wow. Raylani, we're here. <laughs> Dang. This is so much <laughs> I know, I actually like this way better. That's cool, the little art. But check out the view we got. And don't worry, guys, we're actually gonna have like a room review on the channel as well but look at this wow this is really really nice oh that's so cool wow oh this is <laughs> like I said, we come here all the time, but just to see it from a different perspective, oh my gosh, so cool. This is awesome. Look, you see the bubbles? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And guys, this is the premium view. And again, on our channel, we'll have a separate video kind of like room touring it. But yeah, <laughs> we're just enjoying this so far. Okay, so we just got through our room. Henry did a quick room tour, but let me just quickly do a speed room tour here. some awesome goodies that they provided here upon arrival. So they did give Raylani a cute Pixar activity book with some coloring crayons and she dove right on into Mater and just loved the fact that they gave this to her. They also provided us with some delicious Rice Krispies here which we are excited to dive into later. A nice little sweet treat in the bed is going to be awesome. They did give us first visit pins since this is our first time here in this hotel so that's super exciting. And then something that was in our room that we did not notice until just right now was they provided like a lithograph, I think here, of Up. So I just thought that was a nice little touch and yeah, it just makes this whole experience more magical. So there's another thing that actually the hotel provided for us. It's the Distinctly Disney Activity. So it shows the activities for each week over here at the Disneyland Resort, or I should say throughout all of these hotels. So. Let me show you guys what it entails. Pretty much shows all the different like activities that are pretty much here and throughout all the other hotels. So again, this is just valid for a certain time, of course. And it shows, yeah, different offerings and just different things that are around the resorts. So make sure you get one of these when you check in, as well as giving us a map of the parks and like how to get inside if we choose to actually go inside Disney California Adventure. But now it's time to go outside and start exploring this hotel. Check out the ground too. You can see some like hidden things from like different Pixar movies. I'm assuming that's Doug. I could yeah. be wrong. We have, what is it? The Up House, Eve, and some other fun characters. It's like the cool little hidden things. Oh, let me see. Oh yeah. That's really cool too. And apparently this is kind of like the older area of the park but again it looks really really cool 
<laughs> hey, Raylani. There's actually a hidden Mickey on the carpet over here, too. Oh, is there? Yeah, it's this way. This is see. as far as we went, because then we were like... Oops. This is cool, but yeah, I can see it's a little, it's little frightening. It gets a little frightening. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's All right. a Mickey. Oh! I mean, it's right here. Good it's job, Raylani. Lonnie. You found it. And it looks like from up here, you can actually see the pool and play area. There's so. a small bites area, actually. You see that? Yeah, that's cool. All right, well, let's go down there. <laughs> And check this out. This is at least on our floor. We're on the 12th floor and we have a cocoa mural, which is so okay. sweet. And then looking outside, it looks like we can see the parking lot. Oh, look, Raylani, look at. Yeah, that's what she's in one of the shows. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're gonna go check it out, but sadly nobody's there. <laughs> well, that means that we We're might be the first. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think this is actually a perfect time. So let's go check it out. And for the actual elevator, Looks like there's no more buttons, just where we need to go. Oh, cool. So, something fun. So we've made our way back into the lobby and there's so many cool things to see. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> hey, look, it's so incredible. It's beautiful here. <laughs> and here's a little bit of action here. It looks like there's a creator's club, a rental car office, and some restrooms and other fun things. I did hear that this could probably light up in the future and kind of like show different activities, but this place is okay, awesome. Okay, the customer service so far has been A1. I would say it's right up there with the Alani customer service. It's been good. We also wanted to point this out, throughout the entire lobby area, there are these really cool statues of different Pixar films, and it looks like we have Bing Bong already, so we'll have to go to catch him in a minute, but really cool um, sculptures. Also here in the lobby, it looks like this is where Joe Gardner is going to be playing tonight, so the schedule varies, but we're definitely going to catch him, but it is time to go upstairs. So it looks like right here on the second floor, we have a fitness center. So let me go ahead and unlock it and then go in there and show you guys. So we just finished looking at the fitness center and boy, they have a little bit of everything. And honestly, if you're coming to the Pixar place anytime soon and you need to get your workout on, I definitely don't think that the fitness center here will let you down. They also had a couple instructors, I wanna say that were inside. I could be wrong. It could just be a couple cast members. And make sure you guys check out that Monsters, Inc. backdrop as well. It's really, really cool. And it also looks like right by the fitness center, we have a picture of Arlo from The Good Dinosaur. Right? The Good Dinosaur? The good dinosaur. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. But I actually like this. I could see this in our house. I like it that much. What better guard than to have Wally for the fire extinguisher, especially because of that scene in the movie? I just thought that was such a cute little touch. But there's a lot to do on floor level two, so let's go adventure out. Also on floor two, it looks like we can oversee into the lobby. And it looks like we have Bing Bong down there. Look at one of these right here. That's so cool. And they have these wonderful, like, stained glass looking fixtures all over on top. As we said, floor level two looks like it's like conference room. I think I saw something about like a laundry area. We're gonna go look into that more. Um, it's just an open space. It's very beautiful. It only goes to the second floor and then it's closed off. The elevator I did see earlier had like an up balloon to it. So if somebody happens to go up, we'll try to catch it. But just what a great experience. I think they did awesome with including this modern feel, but still keeping it Pixar. So great job, guys. Raylani, are you having a good time so far? Are you it? This is definitely kid friendly. <laughs> So we discovered that there's a guest laundry room here, so we're going to see if we could get in there and take a look for you guys. Okay, so it looks like they have a washer and dryer system. You can also purchase some detergent cleaner, it looks like, that they offer here. Um, you do have to pay for the washing service, I assume, but it's just so nice and convenient to have something like this, especially for longer trips um, or if it decides to rain and you need a change of clothes. So make sure you come and check this out. So it looks like they have this like little kiosk right here where you can actually pay for each one. So the one you're gonna use, you click on it and I'm assuming you just tap to pay or Apple Pay or whatever you wanna do. But yeah, 
We just want to point that out. So far, this experience has been incredible. There is so much to see and do, but we barely scratched surface. But now I think it's time to go to the pool. Yeah. She's uh, seeing the too. <laughs> <laughs> Making the grand entrance to Bing Bong. <laughs> Hi again. <laughs> Oh my goodness. We have found Flick. And if Henry didn't mention, or if I haven't mentioned, there's actually 16 of these hidden characters. But now we found the pool level, so let's go. Oh, what better way? <laughs> this is cool. Pool time. We just made our way outside and boy, does it look so, so beautiful. There's plants everywhere. There's just a bunch of things to do. But the nice part about it is pretty much everyone's inside the parks. So we have all of this to ourselves. So outside over here, it looks like we have another pop-up area that's called Small Bites, and it looks like it's gonna be coming soon from what the cast members said, and this is gonna have some different foods pretty much here inside of the Pixar Place Hotel. We just arrived to the pool area, and oh my gosh, it is so neat. However, the music's a little bit loud, so we'll talk about it in a few. just got back into the room. It was so much fun. We had an absolute blast. There is so much to see down in that area where the pool is at. There was the Nemo's Cove, which had that really fun splash pad. There was just tons of different things, but the number one thing Raylani wanted to do was be in the splash zone. So I took one for the team. Uh, I didn't honestly bring any clothes for like swimming or anything like that, just because it's been freezing. But Ray Lonnie really wanted to do it, so of course we jumped in there and, um, you know, got a little soaked, but it's okay. It was a really fun time, but truly the Pixar Place Hotel did a remarkable job on that area as far as, like, the pool and everything goes. So if you guys have little ones or if you're going to be coming for, like, summertime, that would be the icing on the cake. And they also have, like, a slide as well, but unfortunately I'm not getting on that because it is a little bit cool, um, but the water was very warm, but... Leaving was kind of the problem because Raylani really wanted to be there, but maybe we'll run back to our house just since it's down the street, grab some stuff, and then go back a little bit later on. But we're also wanting to meet Bing Bong uh, on his lawn area, so we'll make sure we also do that today, or hopefully we can do that, but it's been so much fun thus far. We really want to see if we could capture Bing Bong on the lawn, so we're going to go ahead and head out. I took Raylani a shower, so she's all fresh and clean. Um, so let's see if we can catch him one last time and we'll see if we do some more exploring out there. What's going on on that sign? Mike and Sully, they're sleeping? Yeah. Okay. These elevators are so modern because you have to pick what floor you want on your level, like on a tablet. So when you walk in, all you have to do is close the door. And we keep wanting to pick our floor, but you don't have to do that. But <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> Super modern, huh, Raylani? Yeah. It looks like we found the alien as well inside of the elevator. Good job, Raylani. Oh, wait, do Bing Bong's feet light up? Let's see. Oh. Not quite. <laughs> yes, I agree. So we made our way back into the lobby right after we just saw Bing Bong once again. And it looks like there are some really cool posters, our favorite being Elemental, of course. This just gets us really hyped up for Pixar Fest. But I wanted to point these out because Elemental is one of Raylani's favorite movies of all time. 
But of course, what's a trip here to the hotel without checking out some merchandise? So we're gonna come inside of Store E. And it looks like we have some Pixar Place merchandise that is inside a really cool cup. Hi there. And we also have some cool pins, which this looks like a magnet. Yeah, this looks really cool. Okay, in this shop, they actually have like a complimentary little craft area for the kids. So they have some sheets and pans. So Rilani will be here the rest of this afternoon coloring. <laughs> There you are, you little stinker. We've been looking for you almost every single day. One thing that we've been wanting to get Raylani to complete her Toy Story collection is Buzz Lightyear. So I need to run to the room and get her money so she can get him. So I just secured the wallet. Now it's time to go back to the gift shop. All right, Raylani has her money. <laughs> You're gonna pay Raylani? Right across from the store E is the sketch pad, which this is a little spot that's only available for certain times. So it looks like it opens at 6 a.m. and it's available till 11. And this will basically be just some like food and drinks. So tomorrow morning, you best believe, we're gonna come over here into this area and get something to drink. All right, Raylani. So Raylani just bought her first Buzz Lightyear. Are you excited, Raylani? Yeah, you got All right. excited. <laughs> We found one more. It's a Pepita, right? I think so. From Coco. So we found a Buzz Lightyear and Reilani has her little buzz right there, but we're gonna make our way to the car. So the exit is gonna be right here. We gotta pick something up. So we just got back from the car and we were able to grab some stuff, but I want to point this out. So if you guys can see these little ball lamps that pretty much lead back over in here are the actual Pixar ball which I think looks really cool, but now it is time to go back inside. And this is a really cool entrance. This is the Pixar Place Hotel entrance in the back by the parking garage, but just the attention to detail in this hotel is phenomenal. And probably the most important one on the ground is the Pizza Planet truck. Good job, Raylani. Good job. So we just got back into the room and the two kids back here are so excited to play with their Buzz Lightyear. So they're gonna go ahead and open that up. And then we'll show you guys some little snippets of Raylani playing with Buzz. And I actually brought Bullseye. I should have brought Woody and Jesse, but they didn't all fit in Raylani's bag, but it's okay. We got Bullseye, so part of the gang is here to welcome Buzz Lightyear. I almost said Bullseye. <laughs> okay, Buzz is almost broken free. This is a little bit hard when we don't have scissors on hand, but... Oh my God. <laughs> it's teamwork, teamwork. Whoa! Whoa. There you go, there you Say, go, come on, Spaceman! Spaceman! Space Space Woo! Yay. Yeah! <laughs> you got this. <gasps> wow, push the other ones. He talks. Um, we were wondering, like, what we were specifically going to get for our memory. That so makes some... perfect sense. <laughs> Ready? Show me how Buzz flies. Whoa. You want to show, show Buzz to all the people? Oh, yeah. Say, everybody, let's Simba this guy. Ready? Show yeah. everybody. Say, look, Buzz Lightyear. I'm Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. <laughs> so I was working for the past probably like 30 minutes to an hour, but we came over here to the window. We got something special happening, and my hair is crazy. <laughs> if you guys look really closely, I could probably have you guys zoomed in, so that's not going to matter. There is the Lunar New Year Parade. That is exciting. We get like literally 12th foot floor front row view. <laughs> Tongue twister. Windy or right. Anything, so it's perfect. Yeah, and uh, Raylani's watching too. So this is really cool. Honestly, premium view, it's a win. We had to run back home to pick something up, and now we're back at our staycation. It's about four o'clock, I want to say. I think it's closer to five. Five o'clock, um, and we're back. I did a little outfit change, got a new hat on, but now it's time to go back inside the Pixar place. It doesn't look like Joe is quite here, but we're for sure gonna catch him on this trip. Here All right, so it's about 5.15, oh, yeah. and it looks like there is another Lunar New Year parade that's happening. And as you guys can see, some of the lights are starting to be turned on, but yeah. right now we're gonna go down there and See what we can do inside the park for a little bit. 
So we are currently getting ready to go back into the park. I know Raylani is pretty excited, but look what Nicole found. I was looking for that like laundry bag to put our dirty clothes into. And this is so cute. This is for the, um, what is it called? Dry cleaners that I'm, I'm fine. I'm sure we're fine to take this, but I just thought it was so cute. Mickey's hand with the little bag. <laughs> and just like at the Grand Californian, they have some really cool things on the screen. And I know we'll probably browse at some of this stuff, but yeah. right now it is 521 and we yeah. got to get inside of here. But apparently there's a secret entrance that we're going to do tonight. And no, that is not a UFO. That is just the lamp that's in our room. <laughs> but yeah, let's go to the park. Are you ready to go in? Let's go. So we're headed to Disney California Adventure Park, but we wanted to point out, look at the lights on this hotel. They are phenomenal. And I bet you later tonight when we come back home, it's gonna look even better. Yes, and tomorrow we're actually gonna be staying, or I shouldn't say staying, we're gonna be eating here at the Great Maple. So we got reservations for that if we could wake up early in the morning. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we got this going for us. And apparently that entrance is right here next to the Grand Californian Hotel where we stayed last night. I'm gonna try my best to show you guys the entire pathway through if you guys are staying at the Pixar Place Hotel, but this is really exciting. And Raylani's got her little Buzz Lightyear ready to rock and roll. But the Grand Californian, here we go. And it looks like it's right here off to the right-hand side. The door is closing. The is closing. <laughs> so we're gonna take this little walkway and I think I have seen this entrance before. It's gonna spit us out by the Corn Dog Castle. So let's take our little pathway here. And I'm not gonna lie, this has been such a wonderful experience. I mean, yesterday with the Grand Californian was also phenomenal, but this new renovation of the Pixar Place Hotel just really gives us good memories. So it's gonna be exciting to go and finish this trip out, but also to make our way to the Disneyland Hotel fairly soon and then be able to kind of compare all of them and see which one we like the most. But. <laughs> Right now, it's time to focus on getting inside DCA. So we've pretty much made our way to the exit or the pathway of where it's gonna spit us into Disney California Adventure Park. And it looks like this is also where you do early entry, but dang, this is pretty nifty. All right, so right as you pass through, it's pretty much security, and then we're gonna do our park check-in next. So once you get spit right out there, pretty much Disney California Adventure Park is our backyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a totally different vibe than what we're used to up there. So I felt like we had to come over here to the Inside Out ride to show some love because our friend Bing Bong is inside the hotel cooped up right now. Really quick, if you guys have not ate at Poultry Palace, we highly recommend going. It is actually one of the best like fast service spots in Disney California Adventure Park. And I almost feel like it's something we gotta do today, but at the moment we're kind of full. But we're going to figure out what we're going to be doing. Yes. She said she needs the Buzz Lightyear Happy Meal. Okay, we'll get you something. So it turns out we're going to jump on Jessie's Critter Carousel. And Raylani wanted to make sure she brought her Buzz Lightyear, so let's do it now. Raylani, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. And we got her Buzz. So Raylani wanted to make sure Buzz was strapped in, so I have to have him here. Good job, Raylani. She's waving to everyone. We just got done on Jesse's carousel. Raylani had a wonderful time. She was waving to everyone. But now it is time to see what else we're going to do for tonight. It turns out we're actually going to have the Poultry Palace for a little late night meal. Okay, so Poultry Palace Chicken is one of our favorite places to come and get a quick bite. So with Raylani just getting her Buzz Lightyear, we had to get some chicken. So we're ready to dig right on in. If you guys have never gotten one of these Poultry Palace chicken boxes, it basically has three little chicken wings, some coleslaw, which I really do like the coleslaw. You're yeah, hesitant, actually, right, on uh, it? So they're chicken drumsticks. Um, these ones are pretty girthy, because last time we got them, they were small. So these ones are big chicken drumsticks. And then, yeah, the slaw is like a vinegar-based slaw, which is Henry's jam, not mine, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. And I mean, plus, how can you beat this view, guys? I mean, the other view you can beat is being in there, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I figured I'd point this out. Something that's been like a super hot commodity, obviously being the Year of the Dragon, are these spirit jerseys. And it looks like they finally got a restock 
But now it's time to make our way over to Hollywood Studios. All right, we're gonna go get one of Nicole's favorite drinks here at Wrapped With Love. Okay, I got my raspberry oat milk tea. I'm so excited, my mouth is watering. I've been craving this, so here we go. And now it's time to pick up a smoothies drink. And it looks like she's actually making our shake right as we speak. Oh no, Mickey's ear. All right, we have the Alpine Mickey shake, but Nicole and I were both talking that it looks a little different, right? We had this before already, but I think they added the drizzle right here inside, but like oh. they went ham. Yeah, she did. <laughs> All right, that is a sign we need to head back to the hotel room. We are on our way back to our room. So here is that entrance to go back, which is really cool that we're finally able to take this for the very first time. We just got back to a hotel and Raylani fell asleep. <laughs> it looks like we found Doug from Up. And Raylani is asleep, but look at the Up house. We got an Up house right here, which I don't know if I'm terrified or not. This is cool. But it is neat. And we also have, you know, cars on okay, in the background. Actually, now I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> so that pretty much wraps up our day here. I'm trying to be a little quiet because Raylani is asleep. So that means Henry and I get to take some time to enjoy the view. Hopefully catch World of Color. That's going to be happening around like 9 o'clock. So if we can get some little snippets, we'll include them um, in our B-roll. But yeah, it has been a memorable experience. I know it's just one night, but... With time, we definitely want to make our way back here. I do feel like this, all of this is just worth it. It's worth the investment. So again, that wraps up the night and we'll see you guys tomorrow. So guys, we can see the World of Color show from our room. How exciting is this? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. What was your favorite part? The fire? Yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm looking a little rough. We're about to go to bed, but we just caught a glimpse of World of Color and it was so cool to see. I'm so grateful that we are in this room. I feel very bad for everybody who got drenched. They actually had to end the show because of the weather conditions. From our view, you can see the palm trees just like bending around and I'm just grateful that they even did as much of this show as they did. But it was such a great experience to watch from our room with Raylani. She was singing along. Um, we could see all the beautiful colors from up high. The fire and the fireworks that were included were just awesome. It was just such a great experience. I keep looking over there like it's still going to happen, but it was just definitely a core memory. I almost like started crying at one point because it was just so beautiful to get to experience that with Raylani and with Henry. Also, side note, we could hear some of the volume from like just that point of view, but you can actually link your television. There's a World of Color channel and it synchronizes with the show. So make sure you keep your eye out for that. But now it's time to go to bed. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe we're not going to bed quite yet. We got the late night munchies, so gotta go down to the lobby. So I found my way back to store E. I'm gonna grab Nicole and the baby something to eat. I found Frozone as well. And also over here by Frozen, it looks like I found that octopus guy as well. All right, so I grabbed some late night munchies for Nicole and Raylani. And now it is time to go to bed. <laughs> we, said, we said we were going to bed and then I was telling Henry, I was like, I'm so hungry. <laughs> so I go downstairs to the store store. But I sent Henry to the store E store. <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyway, we got, oh my we gosh. Got, we got cheese and Pop Tarts. So I guess this is what we're having in bed. <laughs> good morning, everyone. That was a really good night's sleep. We woke up this morning earlier than we ever do, and I think that's because we have this window open. But it's about 6 50 right now. Um, we're looking outside and like the view is incredible, but I'm drinking some coffee that they have inside of the room at the moment And it's just nice just to see this view wake up to this view I think we're gonna go downstairs in a little bit to go to that sketch pad and see what type of coffee they have But I needed something like right this second. So it's about seven o'clock right now And I'm heading into the elevator to go down to the lobby to go check out that sketch pad cafe so hopefully they have some good coffee. We were looking at the menu last night and I think there's a few things we do wanna try. So we just arrived to the Sketchpad Cafe. Let's go inside and see what they have. 
So it looks like they have a little bit of everything. We have an espresso bar, some tea, build your own brew, heat and run prepared items and bakery. But for us, it's the latte. Got back with the coffee and Nicole approves and I think it's really delicious. Jump scare. Sorry guys. It's really <laughs> it's really good. Um, so yeah that was good. They also have a lot of like baked goods and just different like juices and different things that if you want like with your kids or just a baked good in the morning they have it. The atmosphere of also the little lounge area that's right next to the sketch pad or I should say inside the sketch pad is actually really cool as well. I can definitely see like just kind of being there, kind of hanging out. But other than that, I felt like it was a really good experience. Um, now what we're gonna be doing is kind of like cleaning up the place a little bit. We have the Great Maple at nine o'clock this morning. Check it out. Look at Raylani's little stash over here. I'm glad they had How their fun. own bed. Yeah, oh yeah, they had their own bed. Wow, look at that. With the premium view. Dang, that looks so cool. And pretty much like all night too, I would kind of like look out here and there was like a lot of things that were happening, which was kind of cool as well. Hard working cast members for sure. Of course. One thing that I don't remember if I pointed out, but I want to make sure I show you guys is inside the room, there's like this little catalog book that shows everything to do here at the Pixar Place Hotel. And some of the things too, like if you guys want to see any of this stuff, feel free to like pause it and screenshot it, but there's tons of different things that kind of shows you everything to do here. Uh, one thing I did want to talk about though is the dining option. So there are three um, dining options here at the Pixar Place Hotel, which we're going to be going to Great Maple this morning and kind of showing you guys that. This morning we did do Sketchpad, and as you guys saw in the video for yesterday, the Small Bites is going to be opening pretty soon, and I do believe this is gonna be hosted by Great Maple, if I'm not mistaken, but that's gonna be coming soon. They didn't really give us a date, but I'm thinking like March, April. Um, but yeah, just wanted to kind of point that out just because this book is pretty handy. Okay, just because I think this is so cool, I know I pointed out before, but I just wanna have this for memories. This wonderful looking frame, starting with sadness, and sadly, you know, just because they're both together, we didn't get a chance to see Joe Gardner, but we'll definitely be coming back fairly soon. If you guys do enjoy this video, you know, maybe we can come back and do it again. But there are so many cool characters, and I feel like Pixar and Disney, you guys should be selling this because it is so cool. It is 8.16 now. I called, we had reservations at Great Maple for 9 o'clock, but they were able to move it to 8.30. So I think we're gonna head downstairs and start grabbing. <laughs> thank you, Jerry. Wow, special. How special is Say thank you, Raylani. There's some trees in there too. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Jerry and the team here at the Pixar Place Hotel. They actually gifted Raylani this with a whole thing full of goodies. You guys are the best. And it was a pleasure meeting Ron as well, the general manager. Man, the cast members here are just so incredible. I also wanted to say thank you so much to Donnie for handing this to me for my veteran service, or I should say for my military service. You guys are truly amazing here at the Pixar Place Hotel. We just made it to the lobby. Now we're gonna wait, we're gonna get called, and then we're gonna start eating it here at Great Maple. And right in the entrance where the Pixar ball is and the lamp, Great Maple's on the totally opposite side right here next to the sketch pad. But there's a couple different entrances, but the one we're gonna be utilizing today is right here. So we just got here to Great Maple. This is Henry and I and Rayleigh's first time being here. We're super excited. We just got our drinks and can't wait to show you. I went with a really cool cold brew option and Henry went with some type of like an orange juice. So this will be interesting. And so far customer service has been awesome. So I'm really looking forward to this brunch. 
The music was a bit loud, but Great Maple is actually known for their brunch option, so we're super excited. They had a beautiful environment, very clean. They also have a lot of Pixar thrown into it, which was a nice little touch. So I got the Cinnamon Toast Brew Bear. It was really good cold brew topped with homemade Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It was a very smooth cold brew, and I would highly recommend it. Henry got this Catalina Spritz. It was quite interesting. It was based with blood orange, but I don't know how he felt about it. Next we got what they were most known for, which was their fried chicken and donuts and French toast logs. Okay, just a little tip, be prepared to be sticky with all this maple syrup, but it was actually quite enjoyable. We really liked the French toast logs, and the fried chicken and donuts were a nice touch. I do feel like the donuts were just a little bit dense, but Raylani was a huge fan. Overall, it was definitely a fun experience. I don't know if we'll do a dessert for breakfast anytime soon. Now back to Henry. We just got done with Great Maple and holy cow, that was amazing. I know you guys have to try that place if you're coming here for Pixar Place Hotel. It's honestly really good. We're back inside of our hotel, taking one more look at the park with this view. Before we end up back inside, casually walking as well, this was honestly such a fun and exciting experience on this channel. We could not be more thankful for all of you guys. Okay guys, some really fun Disney magic happened to us and we got gifted, I guess not we, Raylani specifically got gifted this cute little bag with all the Pixar characters which is just more memorable for our stay here. She's actually wanting it right now. And they provided us with some little goodies in there. So that wraps up our staycation here at the Pixar Place Hotel. We just want to give a huge shout out to all of the amazing cast members that have truly provided the best quality in Disney magic here at the hotel. So Jerry, Donnie, and also Ron, it was a pleasure meeting you as well. Thank you guys so much. We seriously cannot wait to come back. We were wanting to stay at the Disneyland Hotel for another staycation very soon. But I think we're going to probably come back here. This was honestly such an incredible experience. Everything from seeing Bing Bong to going outside and doing some water activities with Ray Lani to the amazing sights that we could see at night. And truly, this was a remarkable experience. And again, we want to thank all of you guys, all the supporters of our Instagram page and our YouTube channel. You guys are the reason that we can do this. So once again, thank you so much. We hope that we can come back, do more reviews and different things like that on this channel for the different hotels here at the resort. But with all that being said, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. And like we always say, may you always have a magical adventure. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.